DLAN as a project, I think, is focused very much on practicing what it preaches. It's uh, delivering good practice guides and toolkits, which they themselves have used and developed through their own uh, efforts uh, to develop digital ecosystems. So through the pilot projects, for example, the exchange of experience and staff between regions, they've been a real living lab of their own. So to that extent, it's, it's a rather unusual project. After we implementing the pilot, we selected the good practice factors and which were allowed us to implement successfully the pilot. So we shared the experience preparing the outcome of the project good practice guide. We expect to continue the work we started with the Dylan partners in the project and we expect to build the new projects at European programs for continued investigation of the digital ecosystem and possibilities to implement between other regions in Europe. I think in uh, rural peripheral areas like in North and West Wales, uh, we are largely uh, dispersed and diverse geographically. And that's true of our communities and also our business space. We've got a lot of very small businesses, people working with themselves, are in ones and twos. Uh, so it's quite analogous to an ecosystem. Uh, I think the exciting thing that ICT can offer is the opportunity for uh, to bring those people together. We can provide the, the glue or the con the wit for them to work together, to cooperate uh, and look at how they can bring added value to each other and hopefully with the time to, to the quality of life and to the economy in, in our types of areas. Well, in today's economy, I think that one of the key capabilities for small businesses is to be able to get started quickly at low cost and be able to see returns on their investment as quickly as possible. And that's where cloud services really come into play. So the ability to not have to spend uh, expenditure on servers, servers and software and consultants, but being able to simply sign up in the cloud, uh, get stuff up and running in, in hours um, rather than weeks and months, and then being able to quickly see the returns on that is hugely important, as well as the ability to be able to change tack if something isn't working. Uh, you're able to do something uh, in social at nine o'clock in the morning and then look and see if you've had a response by lunchtime. Um, and that ability to be able to tack and change quickly in a market that's changing rapidly uh, is really important. Well, one example is, uh, as you know, is the disuse nuclear power station site that we've got in the county now that's set in the heart of the Snowdonia National Park. Um, so we're looking carefully at what assets remain there. Uh, that includes great electricity connectivity naturally. Um, so we're looking at how we can use that creatively. And one of the fields that we've come up with is the data center and data storage field, because one of their big requirements is energy. As long as we can provide good connectivity, there's a real chance there that we could engage and attract some uh, business into the area. But that would just be a starting point. You know, what we need to look at then is how we take that benefit and those opportunities out into the community surrounding the site uh, and try and develop some new and exciting businesses uh, beyond those that we've already got. Um, projects come to an end, of course, uh, in the sense that the funding does, but uh, the good work can, uh, can continue. Uh, in this particular case, there's good reason to believe that will be ongoing. There are some very, very good outputs. Uh, the regions are enthusiastic about the experience they've had working together. Uh, they've got some outputs and products that are really quite marketable and certainly capable of being developed either by themselves or further afield. Uh, and I can see it as a springboard for further uh, transferability of good ideas and new partnerships.